Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I've got my eye makeup on, authentically. Uh, and it's been almost a full month since I recorded. Uh, I'm sorry to say, my hair is almost totally back to brown now. I'm just gonna need to refresh where the hell I am. Oh, cool. Better than the last time I went away and came back, though. It's uh, it's been hectic here, honestly, uh, and that's that's just been a little bit of a problem. Nothing I can do mu much about it. Um, this is the last month in my apartment. Which means that I, um, I'm going to be moving out soon. But also, rather irritatingly, uh, I'm going to have roommates for the last month. Which is annoying. I've not met them yet. They could be fine, but, like, I don't want to have roommates. And they're like, oh, you know, it's student housing. And I'm like, it's not. You claim it's student housing, but it is. I'm just bitching now. Pardon me. Okay, so there is a little track in the floor here. Okay, presumably we're going to be doing something like that. See, one of the things about having a 2D game is that when you have a... Oh god, that was a bad camera. When you have a 2D game... I... Hello? Uh, my controller is just crazy vibrating. Look at this. And I also can't move or pause. Oh man, great start. All right, we're back. I don't know what the hell that was because it actually persisted after the game. Uh, after the game started. So, uh. Normally in a video game, when you want to show somebody something, you put a beam of light on it. And as a result, when you have a beam of light that is supposed to be hidden, it is sometimes very, very difficult to try and get the player to notice it. Uh, feel like I've backtracked a little much for that. I can still turn this one as well. I'm going to assume that... She wants to be down here. Okay, cool. Wow, that felt like it took too long. I may be stupid. That's okay. Progress continues abreast. I really thought it was to do with these runes. Whatever. I've actually got a little bit of red sparkle in my um, my eyeshadow this time. Okay. And you? All right, back to you. And now we're just flipping coins. Oh, good. Uh-huh. Ah, these. I saw that both of them were red before. I don't know if that means anything. All right. Puzzle solved. Did I do that thing where I gave up my, my, like, puzzle? My puzzle juice? Where I was like, yeah, just tell me the fucking solution to this puzzle. And then they were like, oh, you've got to direct the beams of light. And I was like, um, go to fucking hell. <laughs> what now? Oh, the light is dying. Of course.
You know, one gets the feeling they didn't want any guests. I was thinking about like my issues with recording this game and like, man, I gotta be so hardcore focused and like, I do enjoy like, getting in and like, just super focusing really deep. And like when you're doing the puzzles, that's not a, as big of a deal, but like, When you're puzzling, it's not as big of a problem for you to not, like, for you to not be focusing as hard and, like, to be talking. But, like, oh, man. Maybe I should go and get a little top off. Might make it easier on me. Just to cut through these guys. Like, I'm, I'm finding a small army of them, you know? This camera angle is not really helping me. Like, I know that I'm not supposed to come back here, but like, in a video game, there should never be a camera angle that negatively impacts the player, unless you're playing a horror game, and that's intended, you know? And even then, you watch yourself because that's not a guarantee to make a good video game. Because, like, I think the, the opinions that um, Silent Hill 1 is, like, a super cool, like, interesting masterpiece and, like, there's nothing else like it, and Silent Hill 1 and 2 need to exist and be weird and janky like they are. And Silent Hill 2 is kind of annoying to play because of how weird it feels and because of how annoying it can be. I think that those are opinions that can and should coexist. Because, like, yeah, Silent Hill 2 is clunky. And, like, that's part of the point that you're not, you know, a cool guy and you can't defeat everything, but... It also means that it's not as, like, actually engaging to play. But something like Resident Evil can be engaging to play and scary and interesting and have good game mechanics, you know? Like, Resident Evil 7 has a just, uh, a just frame, you know? You can parry in that game. And that's kind of insane that a, a horror game would include such fighting game-esque elements as, as that. But it also works for the game because you're playing as somebody who's physically tougher than most people. Wow. Money bag. Alright, is that everyone? And yeah, like that works. Um. And so, like, looking at Silent Hill 2, it's like, is this game good because of its bad mechanics? Or are the bad mechanics just bad and there's not that much, you know, panache to it? But what I'm getting at here is this isn't even remotely a horror game. Hello. Have you come to play? Oh, God. More mysterious, wispy British... <laughs> the board is ready for you. Uh, ma'am, are you all right? Do you like it? I'm looking for. You have a horrible bulbous growth on your head. <laughs> I'm here for the Dark Lord. I'll tell you where she is if you play my game. She. Mother doesn't like visitors. 
But I'll show you where she is. If you play. I don't have time for your games. I must find her now. Oh my god. And I won't help you. Fine. What if we just staked her? Wouldn't you it solve its find her. <laughs> that fucking hair? Only I know the secret way. I'll let you make the first move. Well, I'm I'm white pieces, aren't I? That that's logical. Vampire war game. It's similar to chess for two players. Annihilate all the pieces of the opponent. During each turn. Oh boy. They have a different statistics. Lycans can move two squares instead of one. Vampires can drain life from adjacent pieces, dealing less damage and healing themselves. Necromancers can summon a zombie. And then... Okay. Now it's your turn. I'm getting bored. Yeah, shut up. I mean, come on. Let's move you there, huh? Maybe that'll do something. It's a bad way to look at the chessboard, because we're like stuck so low behind it. Great, you attacked my nothing. It's weird that you don't just have one button to go, that you have to, like, hit a button in order to attack. It's one of those weird little, like... Okay, so if I drain life... Or wait. Go on, play! It's very easy. I am, and also shut up! Okay. I'm losing my patience. You're playing chess. You're playing made up stupid vampire chess. Th this is the game of patience. Or weren't you aware? Anyway. He who has not tasted the grape says sour. too easy if they like if they were like just pick whatever piece you want to go
Okay. Oh my god. Have I lost... I've lost a werewolf, I think. <laughs> Why does it spin that way? How much longer until this thing dies also? Okay, I'm going to kill you because you only have one hit point. Okay, I assumed that you had one hit point. Do I get to see my pieces? No, okay. But yeah, I assumed that the zombies having one hit point meant that they would die in one drain. Does the drain not do damage? Is that how it works? Hey, all right. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh. Does he just have so much defense that he can't, like, die? Because <laughs> that's kind of funny. Because it looks like he hasn't taken much damage. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's unfortunate. So what if I attack you? Then you will crumble. All right. Doing one per turn is kind of lame. But like, again, I guess that's the price of like playing so well. I'm not impressed. Why? What about this is not impressing you? I'm sorry that having a penis for hair is just dampening your spirits. So they can only move one at a time, but they can summon a Zambo anywhere. So what about that? And yeah, it looks like I can just keep sacking them off. This is a semi-interesting board game. But all those extra spins doesn't mean anything if you don't get your guy. Which means that it's actually kind of unbalanced. You know? So he might die. We'll just flank the shit out of him here. You are so predictable. You're are you looking at this fucking board? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I got two now. Like, I'm not good at chess, but neither are you. And this also isn't chess. And also, you suck at chess. So if I remember right, Lycanthropes have the best attack. Lycanthropes have five points of attack, yeah. Should I keep turning around there? Or? Vampire chess, huh? This is where we're at? This is what we're doing? Alright. I love seeing them spin up Lycanthrope because, like, man, what the fuck is the point? They've been out of Lycanthropes for, like, a while now. Wow. It's not fair! I want to win! But you have earned the right to continue on your journey. Who fucking who? I beat you. Such is the nature of gambling in a chess game. <laughs> like, sorry not sorry, but that's the deal. Ugh, fucking shit, kids. Is there anything for me to buy down here? I guess there is, yeah. I'll get flame claws. That's cool. And then Gabriel defeated a vampire child woman in chess, but unfortunately she was brought down by her large penis haircut. She has the body of an innocent child, yet the wits and cunning of a seasoned predator. Zobek, no! She will kill Gabriel in a heartbeat if she could. Beautiful Laura, who was turned many centuries ago, has lived a lonely, cruel existence ever since. Yeah. Gabriel will have to be very careful from now on, as he can be sure that her mother, the one who commands here, is now fully aware of his presence. And that Laura herself still has some part to play in our tale. I was talking about Silent Hill 2 earlier, and I think that the annoying little girl that you talk to is also named Laura. Now granted, the annoying little girl in Silent Hill 2 is maybe one of the better annoying little girls, like, in any video game. Cause like, yeah, she's annoying, but like, they got a real child, a voice actor, and she, like, is able to behave accurately to childhood. Looks great in here, guys. I like the intestines hanging off of his belt. For some reason, I feel the need to call my dad. Oh, that's a foot. Cool. Gnarly, in fact. Okay. Where are we going with this? Ugh, gross. Are we going to kill them all and then he'll be sad, or... Oh, they're powered up. exactly understand what he's doing to them there. He's just kind of willing them into pieces. Alright. Cool. A scroll. Castle Cook has a key I need. Damn, he looks repulsive. I need to think about what he feeds those ghouls. I dread to think about what he feeds those ghouls. I must have that key, but how? Must learn out or find a way into the kitchen where he prepares the gruesome meals. No small task, for he's a worthy opponent, and I don't know if I have the strength to deal. You didn't. 
So you gotta interact with them. Okay. There's a grim grip in there, but I can't access it. Still don't have the key. Yeah, just put that on your shoulder next to your hair. Belmont, please, baby, don't do this. Ew, icky pooey. I've actually, I, I've got a little hair problem right now. I, uh, I went swimming and I didn't sunscreen my head. And so I got a sunburn on my scalp. Where the hell am I? Yoink. Oh, this is cool. This is also reminiscent of Silent Hill 1. You know, actually, it isn't that off-topic to talk about Silent Hill 1. Because Konami made it. Oh, damn, there was probably a thing back there. I couldn't tell which way I was going. Gross. Taking the toesies off. That's where all the flavor is, boyo. God, that chain whip is so fucking super huge. Okay, he's got power geysers. That's fine. I love power geysers. Okay, I'm getting too into my combos. Gotta remember I can outfight better than the rest of them because of my whip. I really like that they gave Simon and um, Richter in uh, Smash Brothers. I really, really like that they gave him this whip. Because, like, this is one of the cooler things about this iteration of uh, Castles, of Castlevania. Dude, please. Okay. He's powering up. Oh, he's got a meat chunk in his hand. Creepy. Okay, meat chunk is out. He's run dry on meats. Oh yeah, the bestiary. This thing got a name? Evil Butcher. Somehow the official cook of the vampires used the evil butcher to feed the ghouls, wargs, and other creatures. Big Iron Cleaver is his main. He's not a skilled, he's not really a fighter, but he's dangerous and skilled with the tools in his kitchen. Dude decides he needs refilling to refill his stamina. Laura, childlike of Laura, the childlike appearance of Laura has led many to the deaths, for she's deceptive, ruthless killer who's murdered hundreds of innocents over centuries to satiate her blood. Though she has the body of a child, she has the intellect of someone older. She can be cruel, often treating the killing of her victims as a game. When at rest and alone, she remembers the time long past of warmth and comfort, and a woman's beautiful voice singing to her as she, as she sleeps, comforting her in the darkness, a life lost long ago. Aw, oh, Pookie. Yeah, I've got my own power geysers, huh? How do you feel about that? I like the way his eyes light up. That's cool. Damn. Okay, chest pound. Power Geyser keeps catching me. It's 
Stop it, Evil Butcher. Damn. Cleaned up. Okay, cool. This means that I can go this way now. Yep. Jackpot. Pog. Clean living. Oh, and that'll top me off, too. Again, I find it a little funny that they actually give you, um, like, the full gauge. They show you the full gauge, and then they're like, you'll get, like, a third of this, though, fourth of it. You'll get this tiny little piece. Oh, hard knockdowns. Fascinating. That means that... That means that we can stop him from getting the meats if we have shadow magic. I guess the fist might also be used for that. Did that just bounce off of me? I guess it makes sense. It's only so hard that you can throw a knife against armor. And like, I know you got super strength, but like, I'm wearing iron armor. I really like games where like armor is worth a damn. Like, I love the poise mechanic in Dark Souls 1, and I really wish that that could be in more games. I think it's actually at its best in Neo, because it was kind of ruined in Dark Souls 3. No, stop him. Trade. Sorry, I looked at my health bar in the split second it took for him to do a power geyser on me. Like this, in fighting. Fighting like a boxer, you know? Like, playing smart is something that you really have to do when you have a whip. Because there are some things in, like, Devil May. Oh, he's got man's hit. He's gross. They jiggle. They do jiggle, though. Oh, too early. Like, playing with a sword and, like, being a huge, like, beefcake is something that is valid in almost every game. Nope, stop that. And, like, even in Devil May Cry, like, even in 5, the hardest game in the series, I would say, um, it is possible to, like, Devil Trigger up and just, like, tank through opponents. Especially as Dante. Because Dante is just so much more of a simple character. And, like, you can even get style while doing that. Okay, so we just run away. Takes two passes. This is an interesting mechanic, actually, where, like, you have to watch where he's running in the kitchen. Go, Be Go Belmont. You have to watch where he's running in the kitchen and see what he's grabbing. Okay. The big soup. Is that hot? Or... Oh, God, it's that shit that Shrek drank in Shrek 2. <laughs> Oh boy. Got it. Loud and clear. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's radical. Right through the Corpus Callosum. Oh! Very classical uh, God of War style kill there. Fucking radical. I actually almost wish that I could play God of War on PC. I mean, I say that knowing that the game called God of War is on PC, but I actually do mean the classic ones, like the original trilogy. And maybe Ascension. And maybe Ghost of Sparta. Isn't that great when you're like, oh yeah, the original trilogy, and then the other five things that are that are a part of it. Pardon me, ghouls. Oh, 
Oh man, I had full meter. Uh, I should cut the episode here, actually. I have an Alfred. This has been Castlevania. Thank you for watching. I had a really good time. And I, I, I did very well as well. Um, I finally got past that puzzle, and I, I beat a boss, and that was cool. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. I have an Alfred. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.